You'd expect to see beautiful beaches and coral reefs in Mauritius. But what I didn't know was that the capital, Port Louis, is an industrial hub. It's home to one of the biggest container ports in the Indian Ocean and a multi-million pound tuna fishing industry. There's two huge canning factories here and Mauritius is the biggest exporter of tin tuna to the UK. To learn more about that side of life in Mauritius, we'd been given permission to film in the port. And this is the head office of the Mauritius Ports Authority. Passport. Thank you. And you need the letter. Yeah, the letter, please. The port had already granted us access, so getting our entry pass should have been just a formality. Oh. Well, very interesting. So basically, we're being refused the uh, chance, or we're being refused permission to film any fishing inside the port. They've banned us, um, effectively. Very strange situation. They say that you would be allowed to, fi to film all commercial activities happening in the port area. And now suddenly the situation has changed and you're not allowed to film any more fishing activities. So I do suspect that some private operators may have made some pressure on the authorities to reverse this decision. The international fishing fleets had stopped us from filming. But then we spotted a huge European fishing trawler offloading a massive catch of frozen tuna. In recent decades, commercial fishing fleets have plundered the Pacific and Atlantic. Many species are facing extinction. Now, with fish stocks wiped out elsewhere, the fishing fleets are turning their attention to the Indian Ocean. So this fish is being discharged, it's being stored in coal rooms, and then it goes to the processing factories, the canning factories, and that's the fish you are eating in UK, in your can. Why are they being so secretive about this? You know, they care about their customers because this is their business. One third of all the fish swimming in the oceans have disappeared because of overfishing. 50% of the stocks are fished to the, up to their limits and they are starting to collapse. Maybe in 10, 15 years we won't see any fish anymore in the oceans and that's a worry of many people. And now the consumers start to be aware of this. So they're worried that people will start to realise that we're fishing our oceans to death. Exactly. I think it's a clear conclusion. We are fishing our oceans to death. It's a frightening thought, but not far-fetched. According to a UN report, there could be no wild fish left by 2050. 